What's up guys, my name is Gabe Carroll, and today we're going to talk about the bad season for Jimmy Johnson of 2018. Now before we want to start now before I want to start this video, I would really like for everybody to subscribe if you want to or not. I'd be glad to support you or whatever it is. But let's get on to the video and we'll start talking about that later or whatever. So let's get to it, shall we? And We'll be start continuing the I'll be start making more videos soon after this. So let's get to it, shall we? Jimmy Johnson was a seven time NASCAR championship. He won seven championship NASCAR championships or whatever. This, however, was his first NASCAR dry, NASCAR paint scheme. He drove the NAS he drove this NASCAR in Charlotte Motor Speedway. Then, however, things did got very down for Jimmy Johnson. As for 2018, during the middle of the season, Jimmy Johnson had, had decided to get, find himself. As for right now, Jimmy Johnson, ha, as for Lowe's company, the Lowe's decided to give up Jimmy Johnson's merchandise. In 2018 season, he drove the Power of Pride car to support Lowe's finale. Yeah, this is actually his first car. However, <laughs> this, however, is his second paint scheme that he drove was over a year from 2002 through 2010 or whatever through 2000 and whatever it is this was actually however the cabal tools car, car was his third paint scheme to su su support Lowe's finale for his car for his merchandise and I actually like the new kind of body style for the Camaros for himself as for 2018 Jimmy Johnson has switched to Lowe's Finale Company to the Lowe'sforprolens.com for his final year for the Lowe's Company. If one of Jimmy Johnson was just only for begging himself to win another championship for the 2018 season, however, that did not go very well for him. Jimmy Johnson had wrecked. Jimmy Johnson had wrecked a lot of race car tra tracks, some of them, over a decade. He wrecked in the Daytona 500 two ti three times over three times, and he was almost close to winning. This was actually the wreck on the picture right now. Is actually the crash that he that happened against against Kyle Larson. This wreck, however, was in the Can-Am duel of the 2018 season, where his hood fl flew off and he went backwards for the caution. This picture right here was also where he was wrecked with Eric Jones, William Byron, and Daniel Suarez. He did not, however, that did not go very well for him. This was also the wreck, I'm not sure what track it was, but it was something. This wreck right here, if that would have not happened, Jimmy Johnson could have just like completely escaped the wreck and not collided with him until this race began. In 2018, in the Charlotte Rover Motor Speedway race, he was fighting the battle in the lead against the, against Martin Truex Jr. in the race in the Charlotte Rover Speedway. That became a fatal accident. In turn 11, Jimmy Johnson popped a tire, got a little, got in a little loose, and then goes backwards, collides up with Martin Truex Jr. on his right rear end, and ha and both leaders had crashed into this. And whatever. I mean, I'm saying words right now. <laughs> but they both wrecked out of the lead right now in the Charlotte Rover, Spe Rover Speedway. If that motor speedway in front of the finish line, letting Ly Ryan, letting Pennzoil Penske racer Ryan Blaney to win the Charlotte Mo Rover Speedway. After that wreck, after Blaney won the race, Martin Truex Jr. came out of nowhere and turned Jimmy Johnson out of the race for payback for what he did by turning him. If that one and a half. If this wouldn't happen for at all, Jimmy Johnson could have just like not actually wrecked himself at all for his complete miscommunication for himself. If Jimmy Johnson wouldn't have wrecked with Martin Truex Jr., he would have still complete in Homestead, but he didn't complete into the Homestead in Miami after the wreck he caused. By the way, I'm not going to say rude things to Jimmy Johnson because it's kind of rude and I'm actually quite a fan to him. Anyways, after the 2018 season, the Lowe's company have finally gave up on Jimmy Johnson forever. As for 2019 season, the Alley company has decided to join Jimmy Johnson for 2019. But anyway, guys, that's it for me right now. 
If you want to subscribe to this channel, I would please like you to do, and I'll see you around for whatever it is, or at any time. So see ya.